Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Germany. Alright, so last episode we finally got a damn port here in Scotland and, you know, it's the beginning of the end of the British at this point, but it's still going to be one hell of a fight, guys. They have a ton of divisions, as you can see, just like right here, there's, uh, psh, fuck, that's like 120-something divisions. Uh, so, actually, that's more than that. That's 130-something divisions. Uh, so a lot of divisions uh, that we still have to fight, and then, of course, there's all the ones down here. Uh, I, I would love to get these guys cut off here. It's going to be kind of hard because they have a port there at Newcastle, so we'll have to uh, take that. Uh, I know that I'm going to mispronounce every single one of these British uh, words here. Uh, apparently, uh, British English... Or, or you could say English English and American English are uh, very different. I remember when I did my British series, I learned just how much I don't know how to pronounce any of the, the city names in, in um, uh, the United Kingdom. And and I thought when I played that one too, I was like, oh, here's one that I'll actually be able to pronounce some stuff. I won't have the difficulty that I have when I play in France or Germany or, or anywhere else that isn't basically Spanish, since I know how to pronounce Spanish. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I thought I was going to have an easy time of it, and then I, I found out that it was probably one of my worst ones. So I know I'm going to butcher all the names in, in Britain, guys. Uh, I'm American, so you should expect it. <laughs> so, uh, And I'm going to bring all Americans down with me, even though most of them probably aren't as bad as I am. Uh, so I went ahead and took the uh, strategic bombers uh, off of uh, bombing here because we don't really do that anymore. It's only going to hurt infrastructure that... Our troops are going to want to use, so we're not going to do that. Uh, the other thing we need to do here, right here in the beginning is uh, we're going to go ahead and send them some lend lease. I, I started building some more stuff there. They're about halfway through this ranking that we have them on. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get them annexed in time, guys. Uh, probably not. We'll try, though. Uh, so let's go ahead and send them a lend lease if I can find it. Here we go. Start lend lease. I'm going to send them like a crap ton of infantry equipment since... We have a, t a crap ton of infantry equipment. We could also send them some, yeah, I guess we could send them some uh, motorized as well. Uh, and we're just going to write this in here, because otherwise it's going to take forever. Uh, so let's do like 5,000. Sure. All right, so we got 5,000 there. We'll send them some, some infantry equipment too. Uh, yeah, we'll do them this one. Uh, once again, we'll probably send them like 10,000. And uh, it doesn't have as big of an effect because it's, it's uh, infantry equipment. Uh, well, it might not actually have any different effect now that I think about it. They might might not matter what equipment it is. I don't actually know if that's uh, if that determines anything. Uh, so I guess we can give them more infantry equipment. We've got so much. I didn't realize just how much we had. I'm trying to give them stuff that would a they would actually be able to use to build stuff uh, if they wanted to. Uh, so let's go ahead and give them like 5,000 uh, support equipment as well. And oh, I guess we got just an insane amount of stuff. I didn't realize. I mean, we have so much stuff, guys. It's ridiculous. Let's do like 5,000 uh, artillery as well. And there we go. We got it up to 575. That's pretty good for right now. Let's go ahead and send that. I, I think I put it on once for the artillery. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I have that set as every month. Uh, I don't know. Good grief. Now I'm going to have to check it. Uh, we do have to wait for them to accept it. Come on. Ah, uh, they're not accepting. All right, so the last thing uh, I wanted to do uh, is, God, there was something else that we needed to do. I can't remember what the hell it was. Uh, oh, yes, our Marines. So I went ahead and named them based on one of your guys' suggestions. And we do have the experience to make some adjustments here. Remember, that we they're not uh, fully done yet, so we are going to want to go ahead and make some uh, changes here. Uh, we wanted to give them the amphibious tank battalions. Again, I'm only doing this because I spent so much time on it, uh, but it's, it's really, at this point, we're never going to use these, so... Uh, I don't even know if we'll be able to get any of these, uh, but these uh, amphibious tank battalions, I think, do affect the special forces limit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that would put it put us over the special forces limit right there. So we won't be able to get that many. Uh, we'll have to remove some of these guys. And, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I think we can actually pull some of these back, because I would like to get them like that. Uh, but, yeah, we won't be able to save it, so I'll have to pull. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. All right, that should fix it, though. And... Again, this really doesn't matter. I'm only doing it because I spent time on it, so let's waste more time on it. Uh, so let's do, again, this should be enough. There we go. Uh, then we're gonna wanna go ahead and add in, although we might, yeah, we're gonna be short on experience, but we can go get those guys out there. All right, excellent. Uh, so we'll continue having those guys train. And I spent all that time building the amphibious tank, so I wanted to get them out there. Uh, we're moving our ships over here to support this. And uh, what are we doing here? Yes, we're attacking here attacking there, making sure we got units attacking everywhere. 
I remember these divisions here are cut off. Uh, so let's go ahead and just keep on pushing forward here. Let's have all these guys go over here. And let's go ahead and start attacking there, though. That's not going to work, no. All right, yeah, we're going to have to pull that back. Okay, they, six, they accepted the lend lease. I wanted to check it real quick uh, because I don't know if I did. Okay, I did do once all the way across. All right, excellent. Just make sure you're not doing something stupid. Uh, so we are supposed to be sending some troops uh, over there to help us, you know, create a distraction in the south as well as this here would be useful too. Uh, that's 66 of 84 days. Uh, this one here is probably done already, but we're not going to send it until we send some of these other ones. Uh, we also have the red army one that we're sending as well. That's 10 of 45 days. And then we have this pink army here, which is 10 of 52. So quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of time left. Uh, looks like we did win here. Excellent. I don't think we're going to be able to push forward. I'm going to attempt to push forward until we finish up here, guys. I think that would be a good idea to get this wrapped up. Uh, going to have some difficulty here. Uh, despite the fact that we did defeat them and get their uh, strength down, uh, the main problem that's going to be here is that there's so many divisions. Uh, so I just want to lock them down so we can grab that province. And some of these guys are going to go over there, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's go ahead and have... I think some of those, those guys are supposed to go up to that front, too. All right, so let's go ahead and try and get these guys, like, uh, basically down to one province here. Uh, and I don't think we should attack across the river. I think we should go this way. Uh, and saw an overrun there. Hopefully that was us that overran them. Oh, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> yeah, that is terrible. All right, they were able to get a division there. I don't know how. They must have... Yeah, I don't know how the hell they did that since we were attacking them. They shouldn't have been on the move. All right, so we're probably gonna have some difficulty here, guys. Um, this guy's grabbing that province for us. All right, awesome. All right, so yeah, a little bit, of, a little bit of trouble uh, up in that region there. As long as we hold out here, let them attack us, throw away their equipment. Uh, once again, we're not gonna get uh, manpower is not gonna be the way that we we get the win there. Uh, so their attempted attack is there. I don't want that. So let's go ahead and have. All these guys here attack. And it looks like that would actually be a win. So we should be able to get these troops wrapped up. Look how many divisions that is. Uh, that is a lot. What is that? Uh, 38, 40, 43 divisions uh, that we're about to get destroyed here. Uh, let's go ahead and attack with these guys as well. And they're also attacking across the river. You know, just throwing away their own organization and strength. Let's go ahead and attack here. There is some divisions there to resist us. And this is going to be problematic probably until we wrap this up. And it's done. Excellent. Okay, so... I assume, yeah, all 24 divisions are going to go up there. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and then we'll have all these guys go over to this province. Now we'll try and start pushing forward here. Uh, we'll have a good solid, in fact, it looks like some of them aren't here yet, so let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, we will want to give them fronts now, uh, or offensive lines, excuse me, uh, so that we can um, start getting a nice planning bonus. Let's go ahead and have them... Uh, go that way and then what's the other one this one here uh, let's go and have them get a planning bonus as well probably just the same line i don't really care because we're going to manually control it and i'm just going to ignore everything at this point uh with the exception of a few things that might immediately help us uh, like for instance maybe spending that air experience uh that could i don't know could end up getting some some new planes out there before we finish up here uh, though i i don't know that we actually have any that need to be upgraded still. I guess close air support looks like we're using, we're making old close air support. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, this is, okay, this is the B. You just can't see the full name. All right, so the close air support's done. I suppose we could do tactical bombers, uh, just so we're not uh, letting it stack up here. Uh, so yeah, that's what we'll do. And in fact, we'll just go all the way up here. And we don't have the experience to... Okay, let's just wait then. We'll have 495 in no, in no time. So we'll just wait. All right, so these guys are, are here to support any of our attacks this way. Or any of our defenses. It does look like we did lose there. All right, they might start pushing us back until we get these divisions over here. It's a definitely a possibility. Uh, they could start pushing us back. They have so many divisions. Uh, so we're going to be waiting on a lot of these guys here. Uh, we're building up the port as well to get supply up. Uh, these divisions here will concentrate on attacking that way. We'll need to get them all going over there. So they'll be taking their time, I'm sure, getting over there. We are still winning there. We're still holding it, luckily. And we're getting more divisions over here. If we can hold this and, and hold this one, uh, then, yeah, we'll just sit on the defense for a little while. And uh, hopefully they'll just exhaust themselves on these attacks while we get our planning done uh, so that we can uh, attempt to attempt to, to get these divisions cut off here. Uh, we'll have to take that port, of course, but... 
we might be able to do it. Uh, as they, you can see, they're taking a massive amount of attrition. Uh, I'm really hoping that this is going to be the end of the campaign, but I don't know, guys. And yeah, they're fucking our ships up over here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the end, uh, because let me see here. What do we want to get? Let's do logistics. Would be super useful. Let's go and move these guys. Have them. We'll have them repair over here. They could definitely use some repairs. You can see a lot of our, our capital ships have taken a bit of damage. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping this is the end of the campaign, but this is going to be a challenge. There's so many British divisions left. Uh, it's not going to be easy. And we do have the Green Army here as well that needs to do something. I think we're going to have them launch an invasion because 48 divisions is a lot for this area. Uh, so what I'm going to do is have them launch an invasion probably from right here to attack over this way. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so one there and then one there. Uh, that's the way we'll do it. We'll just have them do the invasion from here. Uh, so let's do here to here. So all those guys will get over there. And uh, should start planning now. And then we'll launch these two invasions simultaneously. Or maybe. I don't know. This one will be done planning sooner. So we might launch that one first. All right. Let's see if we have enough divisions here to launch an attack. Uh, we're going to attempt to. All right, so both of those do look like they're probably going to be losses. We might be able to get that one, though. It's not impossible. We'll see. We'll let it keep going. Uh, yeah, we'll let them keep on attacking. We're still waiting for more divisions to get here, but it does look like these are all going to be failures. All right, so, yeah, it didn't work. We'll try again later. Uh, they're still getting planning bonuses up as well. Uh, seeing that two of these are green, the middle one is one we're having a little bit more difficulty, and that one's red. Uh, hopefully the naval invasions will kind of make the difference here because I think the British are just pumping like every division they have up here to the north. Yeah, you can see it's just getting more and more divisions there. Which means that they're going to be leaving the south wide open. Uh, and then, you know, we'll be able to take advantage of that. So, so yeah, I think it'll end up uh, not going in their favor. Uh, I think this is going to be bad for them. All right, so we're going to let these guys get all their organization up, get their strength up. Looks like some of them are looking kind of weak right now. Uh, they're not facing any attrition issues there, so that's nice. Uh, the divisions here are facing some attrition issues. Not entirely sure why these ones are and the rest. Oh, well, they all kind of are. Uh, so that's kind of a shame that they are facing some attrition. Uh, but really not much we can do about it. Uh, because I'm already building up the dockyard here. Uh, we've got the dockyard building up. Uh, you can see here we're at level 3. Uh, we also have a, a level 5 dockyard there. In fact, we should probably just send all our supply through there rather than building this one up. Yeah, there's no reason for that. Uh, this one's already higher. Uh, so, and I meant to use the control. I had completely forgot about the control click here, guys. Can you control and shift? Hmm. And then shift click. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we'll do it that way. Uh, I had completely forgot that you could do that. Uh, that was added, not the last major patch, you know, with the man the guns. That was added with the, the one before that, I think. Uh, it's been a while since we've had that, and I just... Uh, have uh, neglected using it. That's really helpful to have. Uh, so we now invite Siam to our faction, which is something we've been working on for a very long time. So we'll go ahead and get them into the faction. Uh, and we do have the air experience as well. Now let's cancel boosting party popularity there. Now that that's been done. And let's go ahead and... Why is this guy not moving? Probably because of supply. I guess I'll let him stay up there. He's doing the wise decision. Let's get our planes designed here, these tactical bombers. Those 1944 models, while we may get them soon, uh, we're getting air experience so fast uh, that hopefully we'll uh, have enough experience to, to use it on the 1944 models, even if we exhaust this. Maybe. We'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and do get these guys built in out there. Although we're not really using a ton of tactical bombers, I suppose I should get some, but I mean, we have so many planes over here, guys. It's really not much of a problem. All right, so yeah, their strength is not quite where I'd like to see it. Let's see if we can't do an attack here and win this time. All right, that might be a win. It's really hard to say. They're both green right now, so we'll keep on going. And yeah, this is going to be problematic until we get these invasions going. So we're just going to have to wait until they get all their planet up. And this is the most important one here, the pink army one, so that we can try and cut across here. You can see there's only two divisions defending now, so there's no chance that we're going to lose that invasion. Uh, of course, Siam has been pulled into the conflict now, which is excellent. And we could also start taking somebody else up because we're still doing uh, Brazil, which is at 59% fascist. Who else are we doing right now? We're doing quite a few. Uh, do, did we do Finland yet? Yeah, we have Finland going. Uh, so let's take a look at Sweden and Finland. Uh, Sweden's at 21%. Finland is at 30%. Uh, Turkey is at 45%. We're doing Iran as well. And they're at uh, 26%. So let's go ahead and do Afghanistan now. 
boost party popularity. There we go. Probably won't get any of these done uh, in time, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it, guys. Not too worried about it. Uh, and what I mean by in time is before the the uh, series ends. And decisions available, we can permit SS recruitment. Again, I don't know that I'm going to do any of these because yeah, it's not the balancing attempt. It did not, did not work. Pretty much you need to pick a side. Uh, that's the way it looks. All right, so we did get here, which is the port, which means these divisions are now cut off. So let's go ahead and get them destroyed now. Uh, and then this army will probably just stay here. These are the shittier divisions. We could also have them set up for naval invasion, which is probably what I'll do. Yeah, we'll do more naval invasions. I think that's probably the best way to, to do this. I really want to get these guys cut off here if we can. Uh, that would be a uh, very helpful uh, to do. And maybe like do see here where would we want them to invade I guess we'll wait until we actually wrap this up before I start planning on what we're gonna do with them uh, we should probably send all these guys huh get everybody going get those divisions wrapped up uh, it's at the very least um, there's seven divisions left but there was a ton of divisions up there uh, after we destroy them we'll take a look at the British casualties because I'm sure they've lost so many troops now at this point uh, although remember a lot of these troops probably aren't British if I had to guess uh, a lot of them are probably uh, divisions from their exiled governments. Uh, so ground support integration has been grabbed. That will be useful, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Well... Let me just see here. None of these are... Yeah, none of these are going to help us that much at this point. No, not really. Uh, so let's go for something else. We could go ahead and go for a 1944 uh, plane model. That's an option. Uh, let's see if we got anything here that we might want to get. We could get, you know, once again, we don't really need any of this because uh, production is no longer an issue at this point. Uh, probably should get stuff that helps us uh, in the conflict, I think. Let's do the night vision. All right. So uh, let me just see how much further these guys have. Uh, 45, 52 days, about a week left before they're ready. And hopefully everybody else is ready by that point as well. These guys are now ready to uh, set up an invasion. So let's go ahead and have them. I don't want them to go. Let's have them go here. And then from there, they're going to invade from Dublin. Uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and set up that naval invasion now so it can start planning. And where do we want to do the invasion? Let's see, we have one going there. We have one hitting there uh, to try and sweep across here. We have these ones here as well. Uh, do we want to actually hit a port up? Uh, that's always an option. I almost kind of want to hit this side so that we have invasions on all sides. You know what? That's exactly what I think we should do. Instead of hitting here. Oh, I guess I can do it anywhere. Yeah, let's do it from here. And attempt an invasion right there. I want to say they don't have any fortifications there. No. All right. Uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll do the invasion from there. I mean, I'm even sending tanks and everything. I don't even care at this point uh, if it's efficient or not. And yeah, we'll get them all going over there, and then we'll, uh, and in fact, they should have just went, I was sending them over this way, uh, they should have just went over here, and then from there, went over to their port. Now that we've changed which port they're going to be launching from, so yeah, we kind of just have to sit on the defense. What I would like to do, though, is just take a look at the casualties. So we're at 540,000, um, the British at 1.67 million now, 18% uh, towards capitulation, and just their overall numbers, because remember, everybody's taking casualties now because those are all exiled divisions, and I think they are attributed to uh, the country they're from, uh, since it does use their manpower. So 12.5 million compared to 3.35. And they have about 500,000 men in the field, and I think almost all of those are here, with the exception of a few that might be on Asian islands and such. Uh, other than that, though, and I think I think the, the Chinese islands are starting to get wrapped up by some of our allies, because uh, I know I'm not doing it. But it looks like a few of them have been taken. All right, so let's take a look and see if these invasions are ready yet. Let's see. Nope. All right, we just need to let it play for a while. All right, we'll probably just put it on speed four while we wait for them. And we want to get all of them planned anyway, so even if it takes a little bit longer, even if we let it go a little bit longer in a week, we'll wait. We'll take a look at them in January and see where they stand. Uh, we should probably pull any troops out that don't need to be trained. Just put them somewhere. It doesn't really matter where we put them at this point, it's just so long as we're not wasting necessary equipment for our troops here. Uh, let's go ahead and put these guys over here. Still having a lot of trouble holding out here. A lot of difficulty because they just have so many divisions. Uh, but we're doing it. We're doing the damn thing. Uh, but it's been uh, it's been challenging. Uh, these guys should be repairing. Uh, repairing up. Yeah, some of those capital ships are going to take a bit of time uh, to get that done. Uh, let's go and see how we're doing on getting uh, these guys prepared for annexing. Uh, they're at 118, so we're almost there. I don't know what all we else we can build here uh, for them. Yeah, we're still building air bases for them. All right, that's fine. Uh, and 
Yeah, I mean, we just don't need anything, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess I'll build this here. Uh, but at this point, uh, again, we don't need... Really need stuff. I don't even want to mess with this. I kind of just want to get the uh, the attacks done. And I don't know that we'll... Yeah, it doesn't look like this is going to be the finale, guys. Because there's just so many divisions. And then we, I was hoping we would have pushed forward here. But yeah, we're just stuck on the defense right now. Uh, not really able to do anything else but defend our provinces. And these guys are worried about supply. That's why they're not moving there. Uh, but yeah, uh, I feel like we should keep divisions pushing forward here. Because... Yeah, you can see we're having some difficulty there. All right, we're in January. Let's take a look and see which ones can do their invasions. I know not all of them will be able to, so they can. Uh, let's take a look. I'm pretty sure these guys, yeah, they've been ready. Let's take a look at the Red Army and see if they're ready. They are. Uh, and then we want to look at this army uh, and see if they're ready yet. Let's see these guys here. Um, they're still waiting on, I think, one division. Yeah, just the tank division coming from Asia, which I'm not going to wait on. All right, so let's go and launch all the evasions with the exception of this one here because obviously that one's not ready. And they're still bombing us here, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're still able to, uh, surprised that they're still able to send planes out there. Uh, you would think they wouldn't have any by this point. Uh, or excuse me, that they wouldn't have any fuel. We know they have planes. Uh, but yeah, I would think that they'd be really short on fuel by now. But uh, let's go ahead and send all these guys. Uh, these guys, yeah, these are not ready yet. Uh, so this one is this army. So let's get them going. Uh, let's go ahead and send this army as well. I get them all mixed up, so I do have to click them and uh, see which ones they are. We're going to attack there. Let's have the red army go. And is this the red army? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and have them go. And then we need these guys going as well. All right. So we're going to launch all these naval invasions, with the exception of that one. Uh, I don't know about the green army yet. Let's take a look and see if they're ready yet. They are not. That's okay. Uh, we'll wait to send it. When they pull divisions off to, to defend over there, uh, this is gonna this is gonna be really rough for them. They're not gonna like it. All right, so we just need to watch these invasions. So we're ready to react when we when we land, and they are gonna bomb us all the way across. We did sink seven light cruisers and two destroyers. Uh, so getting that fleet destroyed uh, as they attempt to engage us. Uh, nice. We, I'm seeing all green guys. Okay, so our invasions are uh, all gonna work because they did pull so many divisions off of their off of their ports. And this will be the end of them uh, because of this. This will be how we get all their victory points. All right, so we have taken this one. We do not have a victory point here, uh, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have, or not, excuse me, we don't have a port. That's what I meant to say. Let's go ahead and have that guy go this way. And then we're going to take uh, this tank, send him in, and take almost all of these divisions. Or what we'll do, we'll take, like, uh, since they won't all be able to fight any damn way, we'll just take 10, have them attack, and have the rest kind of just split up. Like, uh, five going this way, four going that way. And I, I want to say we have a tank going over here. I might be wrong, though. Yeah, let's have that guy grab that province for us. All right. Just make sure we're su succeeding on that invasion there uh, and getting ourselves a port. And, yeah, we're definitely going to be able to easily wrap this up, guys. Not too worried about it. And I'm trying to get this uh, port here. I guess it doesn't matter by this point. They are sending more troops over here. Uh, so let's make sure, and this is going to be kind of slow as i got a lot of fronts now that I'm managing. I don't want to, uh, don't want any issues. All right, let's go ahead and attack over here. And you guys are staying here. Let's go ahead and grab that uh, open province there. Okay, looking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that all of our fronts uh, are, have offensive lines, I should say. All of our armies have offensive lines. These are still attacking here. They're over there. We want them to join this front. So let's get them going over there now. And then we're going to want to give them a order. Offensive line or whatever. And then this army here. need one as well. To push forward. And not seeing any other ones at this moment. All right, let's go ahead and have a few of these divisions help out here. I know it's cross river, but that's okay. Uh, these guys are attempting to cut us off. Let's let that guy continue moving. We're going to attack over here just to uh, get the win there. And it does seem we've ha had some difficulty here. Let's go and push forward there. Not entirely sure what the problem is there. All right, so they're going to have to pull divisions off here, maybe. Uh, which is actually not good. So let's go ahead and attack because I want to cut all these guys off. Maybe we'll even get a win. Probably not, but again, this is about locking troops down. Still trying to get that port there. Uh, let's take a look how far these guys are ready to go here. About six more days. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack here. That'd be a win. Maybe we'll get these guys here cut off. And still trying to get troops over there. Let's 
go ahead and have this division push forward here so they don't take that province from us. Attempts an attack here and does look like we're going to lose. Let's go ahead and throw in some more divisions. And this guy's going to lose as well, so we'll pull that back. All right, so yeah, they're pulling off far too many divisions. Let's attempt an attack here again. Just keep these guys locked down. We would actually win here, which is good, because then we take their port, so if we can cut them off here. Uh, though, this is going to be difficult to do, honestly. All right, we have one here as well, uh, so let's go ahead and, and get this done. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and say that the majority of these divisions are going to attack over here to grab that province. All that guy goes there. And then we'll slowly get the rest of these guys wrapped up here. Yeah, because he doesn't have a port. All right, awesome. So they'll take care of that for us. And then we're going to go and make sure the rest of these divisions come over here. And Spanish have launched an invasion here as well, and they've been successful. Uh, I'd prefer that they didn't launch any. Uh, I'd like to do this myself, but whatever. Uh, I can't stop them. They want a little part in the glory as well, I suppose. Yeah, we might actually get these guys wrapped up at this point now. And I wasn't sure if we'd get it done or not. Uh, but yeah, it does look like... Uh, we should get it get it done this this episode. Probably. Let's go and have those guys attack that way. I don't want to attack across the river there, so we'll hold off on doing that. Uh, and then we're just going to have the divisions that are assigned here uh, attack over there. Same with these guys. And probably not going to get a victory here. There's a lot of divisions there. A lot of divisions everywhere, though, really. If I'm being honest, let's go and attack again. Once again, we're probably going to fail, but that's okay. All right, still attempting that invasion, having a lot of difficulty with it. Uh, there's a bit more divisions protecting that province than there is in some of the other provinces here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys wiped out. Uh, let's make sure all the rest of them go over to that front so we can push forward here after we get that defense done. And it does look like uh, the Spanish are going to take Dover, which is the one fortified, uh, the one fortified uh, port. Two more days, and then we're ready for the invasion. All right, so we did get their port. Let's go and attack over this way again. Once again, just to lock troops down while we're trying to get that done or this one done, whichever one, I don't care. Uh, let's go and launch an attack here. Uh, just mainly to lock troops down, though it does look like we might get a victory there as well. All right, and then these guys will, you know, move all around the front here, and then this army here should be going to that one. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Let's go and make sure they, they help out. I know they're probably worried about supplies. Supplies a massive issue. Look at all these damn divisions, man. Well, we'll get the, the military experience, I suppose, the army experience from it. Uh, but, yeah, not going to use them. Still haven't got that win just yet. Let's take a look at these guys here, and there we go. All right, so let's launch the invasion there. Try and attempt this uh, this plan to... But, I mean, they've already moved all their divisions, so at this point it's, it's largely irrelevant. Uh, but I'd like to cut these guys off if we can. So let's attempt an attack here. I know that these guys are going to be attacking across a river, but it does increase the size of our combat width, so I think it would be wise to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and also... Let's see, how do we want to do this? Uh, we only need, like, one division attacking here. We'll send one with one fast motorized. And then the rest of these guys here. And attack over there. All right, and then these dudes here attack right there. And then the rest of these guys are going to attack over here. And I know this is, you know, ascending all the divisions like this probably isn't optimal. Uh, but, um, I don't care. <laughs> these guys are just about done. Uh, it won't be much longer, guys. Let's go and continue locking these guys down here. Let's again attack here. Push forward here. All right, just about wrapped up. It's looking pretty damn good. Let's go and attack over this way, attack over that way. Get more divisions. Attack there. You guys should attack right there, help them out, although that is going to be a loss. We're going to have these guys all attack right here. The invasion is done there. We'll try and get these guys cut off if we can, uh, while most of these divisions here are going to be uh, attacking right there. Uh, we'll take a couple of them, since you can't even send that many any damn way. Oh, I want them going that way, and these guys going this way. All right, excellent. And we'll try and cut off those troops if we can by taking these two provinces here. Still haven't got that attack done. That's been the most challenging of the, the attacks, unfortunately. It's been a little bit uh, more difficult than I was expecting, but we almost have it. There we go. All right, so we've got it. Uh, let's go ahead and have all the troops start uh, pushing forward here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll send, send these guys forward. Uh, we'll send the tanks to the two. The, remember, these divisions are crappy, too. And we'll just take a couple divisions if I can get them selected. Send it this way. Attack. All right. We are having an attack across the river, but it is a win, so we'll let them continue it. Doesn't look like we'll, we'll cut those guys off like I was attempting, but that's fine. 
I mean, these guys are just about done. Uh, won't be much longer. Let's go ahead and have uh, this front extended for these guys. So they'll help us out over here. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. Oop. Can they not attack? There we go. Attack there. Let's attack right there. Uh, these divisions actually did get cut off, so we'll go ahead and try and finish them up here. Yeah, that's excellent. Very, very nice to see. Uh, currently defending here, though. Need to get these guys pushed back. Let's just launch an attack there. That'll probably fail, but that's okay. Let's push forward here. All right, so yeah, just about done. It does look like this will be the final episode, guys. Just keep on launching these attacks, even if they're failures. That's fine. Uh, and then we're going to attack there. Uh, attack there. Don't want to attack across the river if we can avoid it. And then there are openings here, so let's go ahead and take uh, the tanks and send them that way. All these guys attack over that way. All right, let's go ahead and have the majority of these guys attack this way. So the one fast motorized grabbing that province. And let's go ahead and attack those guys. Make sure that they can advance and take some of the gains that have already been gotten. Uh, and let's go ahead and attack these guys now. Try and get them wrapped up. And let's attack right there. Here. Let's go and support that. Oh. Actually... Yeah, let's go and support that attack. Try and get those guys wrapped up real quick. All right, definitely getting some wins here. Glad to see. A lot of these guys are staying back because of supply issues, uh, as you would expect. Can't go ahead and launch this invasion, I'm, I'm guessing. Nope, we can't, we're only halfway. All right, uh, what we need to do, yeah, it's fine. I'm not, not even worried about it, guys. We've got this one, uh, so yeah, it's not an issue at this point anymore. I'm just going to send all those guys in back there. Gonna have these guys push forward here across the river. Oh, they go right there. Grab that up. There are a lot of divisions still there. It's gonna have these guys attack here. Uh, this is still not quite wrapped up yet. All right, it's taking a little while, but almost there. It's going to attack here and throw in some more divisions. All right, looking pretty good. It's going to have these guys attack there. Don't know how much longer, but we haven't gotten London yet, so I think you have to get London in order to, to get the win. It's going to have... Hmm. Actually, it's going to have them all go that way, with the exception of that dude, and have these guys go up here. And let's see if we can't lock these dudes down. Doesn't look like it's going to be very successful. All right. Uh, let's have this guy attack here. Not really managing the fronts much. I'm just kind of attacking. That's it. Just trying to get him knocked out, because remember, once we win here, then that's the end of the war. Uh, though the allies will be fully capitulated at that point. We got the special forces tech, not that it matters. Uh, let's go with the advanced special forces training. I like having the better special forces than the uh, uh, the increased number of them. I feel I'll grab that province. So these guys attack here. And at this point, um, we'll, we'll still avoid attacking across rivers if we can. So we'll have we'll take less casualties overall. But like some of these here, yeah, there's just no way to really avoid it in a timely manner. So let's just do the attacks across the rivers in this particular case. Uh, and how are we doing up here? Let's go and attack with these guys. I want you guys attack here and can't attack them because we're defending. All right, slowly getting her done, but just about there. Let's have all you guys attack over here. Now we just need to get London. London could be difficult because of how many divisions are there. There are a lot of them. Really, we just need to get them down to where they're only one province. Oh, and there we go. And we've won. All right, excellent, guys. So that is the end of the campaign. And now uh, we're going to do the peace treaty, uh, which is probably going to take a while because there are a lot of uh, countries to deal with. Uh, so you can see the points. We have 5,800. Uh, Spain's the next highest with 1,800 points. Uh, and then we have Anturia with the 1,500. And the Americans ticked their points up pretty quick, 1,200 there. Uh, the Romanians, 340. And some of these guys will grant their points to us uh, since they're our puppets. All right. So let's go f ahead and figure out what we want to do. Uh, so I know that I want to conquer all this territory here. Uh, I might give a little bit of Czechoslovakia to the Hungarians. We'll see. Uh, I know I want control of Denmark, so we control the straits here. Somebody could get in here uh, if, you know, just pretending, role-playing, as if we were to maybe stay in the conflict. I'm guessing Spain's going to take Portugal over and then go after parts of Africa. If we ever get the chance, we'll give Italy some of Africa, but 
Uh, I'm not going to prioritize that. And I also want control of, of most of Asia here. I, I assume entry is going to work on China, but it's not going to cost them that much uh, since they have claims there, I believe. Uh, so they might be able to do it kind of quick. What is it to see? Uh, but the first thing I want to do is work on the, the puppets that we're going to get. Uh, which before we do, yeah, we're gonna work on Britain first. I think that would be the, the best way to do this. Uh, so we can't puppet them until we've taken all the colonies that we want of theirs. Uh, so I want that colony and that one as well. Uh, and probably take over some more islands. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll take over all this. This is ours now. So we're gonna take over the, all that because uh, we already have control of that there. Probably take control of a lot of these islands here though. Yeah, we have to take them to the British if we want to. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. So yeah, we'll take over oh, Samoa. Yeah, Samoa would be the Germans historically very interested in Samoa. Uh, so take over all these colonies here, uh, principally the British colonies first, since I'm going to be puppeting them. We want to puppet Japan as well. Uh, so I don't know if we'll have the points. We should have the points to do that. And and remember. A lot of this, nobody's going to be able to really do because we occupy it. Uh, so it's going to be very costly for them to, to take it from us. Uh, so yeah, Singapore was quite costly. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of points here. Is there any other British territory that we want for ourselves before we puppet them? If we wanted to give all this to Italy, which I don't, I suppose I don't really, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with, with the way it looks now. Uh, Denmark would probably be, uh, it's not too expensive even though we don't occupy it. All right, um, probably gonna make Ireland free, let Ireland be uh, uh, free. So let's take a look at the United Kingdom. Oh, there's still a whole bunch of stuff I need to take, that's right. Uh, Malta, I want Malta. I want a presence in the Mediterranean. Yes, yeah, so let's take Malta as our presence since we won't be able to get, I mean, we might be able to get Gibraltar. Gibraltar is really not that expensive. We're going to take that. All right, so we'll take that. I was assuming it would be more expensive since Spain occupies it, but uh, that's not the case. All right, so we'll just take a few islands here so that we have a presence in the Mediterranean for the massive navy that we're going to be building up. All right, so that looks good. Um, we're going to take Belgium over with, with our points as well. We know we're going to want to get that. I'm going to want to get Spain under our control as well, such, uh, Switzerland. Uh, so we're going to try and gain all that. Uh, but I gotta get the British lands dealt with first so that we can we can puppet them. So if we want any other territory from them and not have it be under them, uh, which I'm actually fine with them keeping some of their colonies. Yeah, they can keep some of their colonies, I suppose. I just want to take those islands that are around the immediate area there. I think we're we're done with uh, Britain. Yeah, I think we're gonna be done with the British for right now, uh, and then just. Yeah, just puppet them. I'm not thinking of anything else that I want of, of Britons. I suppose we can get some of their territory here. But again, I don't really... Yeah, I just don't care about any of this. I suppose we can take Egypt, put it under control. Uh, but if they're a puppet, it doesn't matter. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and puppet the United Kingdom. Oops, what did I do? Oh, Macedonia. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and say... Where are they at? Puppeting them is going to be a massive amount of points. But that's okay, because uh, that deals with a lot of a lot of the, the islands and stuff, a lot of the lands that the colonies and stuff that the British own. So we still have points uh, available to us even after puppeting them. Uh, let's go ahead and, and knock out some of this territory here that I don't want uh, anybody to uh, puppet. We're gonna want Bohemia, much of Bohemia for ourselves. We're gonna give some to the Hungarians, but uh, not all of it. Maybe this will go to the Hungarians. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty. I would suppose. Yeah, that would be a nice hung Hungarian uh, bit of territory there. So we'll give that to them, and then we're gonna want control. We definitely want control of Switzerland uh, and France as well. If I can get, I don't know that I'll be able to get all of France actually, and I'm I'm a little bit worried about somebody puppeting them. I suppose we'll see. I'm I'm, I'm kind of worried about actually a lot of countries getting puppeted, but we can only do so much at a time. So. We'll just have to see what, what happens. Uh, and I think that's going to be it. Oh, that's 70, so we might actually be able to get a bit more. Okay, so can't do that. Um, let's see what else we can do here. All right, how about... Can we do anything with Ireland? 
Can we puppet them? No, that's going to be too many points. You know what? Let's go ahead and puppet Ireland. And then we'll just pull back on one of our some of our territories here. Oh, that was, I'm going to pull back a lot more than I thought. All right. That looks good. Let's see if there's any other cheap ones we can get. We can get that 20-pointer. And I suppose that's it for right now, guys. Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and end our turn. And we'll see what everybody does. Let's go down here. So Spain's the only one who's got a turn. And they did take over Portugal, as expected. And it looks like they've also taken over, yeah, a bit more land as well. All right. So uh, Spain had their turn. And now it's our turn again to... Oh, Spain took some lands in France, too. All right. So I was, I was hoping they would go after Africa, but they decided to go after uh, French territories. All right. Well, let's go and make sure we get the rest of this, then prioritize that. I was not thinking they would go after France, but I guess it's better lands. So we're going to wrap that up. Uh, as far as other lands that we want for ourselves, I want to say that's it. I don't think there's much else I'm interested in. I would like to puppet Japan, though, so we should probably do that uh, fairly quickly here. So let's find Japan on here. I must have passed them because I haven't seen them yet. Korea. Let's go up to the top. Oh, there we go. State of Japan. Uh, let's go and puppet Japan. And we won't take any of their territory yet, because uh, we'll probably give a lot of it back to them. And let's see what else I might be forgetting. Australia? Probably just puppet Australia. Same with New Zealand. Yeah, we'll probably puppet them. That'd be the best way to do it. Uh, Burma? Okay, I want to give... Hmm, not entirely sure what happened here with India. Why, well, there's two... Yeah, this should all go to them. I think that'll all go to Free India. So we're going to want to give Pakistan back to, to India, I assume. Uh, maybe we'll give Burma to India as well. Uh, but let's deal with Europe first. I want to make sure the Hungarians get that land there, since I drew it out for them. So let's go ahead and find the Hungarians. And, oh, are we out of territory? Or out of uh, points? It looks like we are. I did not realize that. Oh, damn. Hmm. All right, well, that's a shame. I guess we'll have to pull that one back. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's a real bummer. Can I give uh, anything to, to a puppet? Let's take a look at the Hungarians and see. This is because this is a little bit cheaper. Yeah, we could give them that one and that one as well. Or that one. Let's do, let's do that one. And that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and enter turn. Let's see what all of our allies have done. Uh, it looks like it's just France. Or, excuse me, just Spain. And they did take that last province in France, as I was expecting. So that'll be the border uh, between us and Spain. They did a lot in the conflict. Uh, so I'm not too salty about it. Uh, they are taking a lot of a lot of Africa over as well. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Manchuria is about to get their time. And they're going to, of course, go after China. Uh, the rest of China. So I guess with our turn, we're going to work on the Hungarians now. Try and get that territory from. We might have to pass, but I would prefer to wait to pass. Until we get some of this stuff done here. This territory here will probably just annex. Uh, there's no other way to do that where it's going to look nice, I don't think. So let's go ahead and annex all this. And we could give this land here to Bulgaria. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Do we want to give them Albania, though? I know we want to give them Macedonia. But as far as map, it feels like Albania uh, would look better in, in our control. Yeah, it seems like it would. But let's give some, some love to Bulgaria. Let's give them some land. As they have gotten control of all Greece, so it's not like we haven't given them anything, but... And there we go. Oh, we can't give them that one. Okay, we can't give them Albania. All right, well, that's a shame. It's just one too many provinces. Can we give some land to Ireland, then? Because theirs are not too cheap. Or not too expensive. We can give them a little bit. All right, so we'll give them that. I wish I could give that to Ireland, uh, but yeah, that would have required us to free Ireland first and then the British, which probably wouldn't have resulted in uh, quite what I wanted. Uh, I guess Norway will probably just uh, puppet them, though we're not gonna have the points to do it. Probably not. Oh, we can't even. Oh, yeah, because I'm not clicked on me. Let's take a look. 89 points. Yeah, we can't do that right now. Hmm. There is that little spot there. Let's see if we can give that to Italy then. If I can find the Italians. Nope, 49 points, can't do it. 
So it doesn't seem like we have very many points, is what it comes down to. Just not a lot available for us right now. What about the Indians? Can we help them at all? Let's see here. If I can find them. <laughs> There's so many countries involved in this treaty. Uh, so free India. Let's see if we can't give them... Uh, we can give Pakistan at the very least. No, we can't even give Pakistan, so that tells us that we have no points. Alright, so let's go ahead and end our turn then. Let's take a look and see uh, what everybody did. So Manchuria got their turn. They did take land in China, as we did expect them to. Alright, so they, they took care of that. Uh, and... We also have to get all that land for Japan, too. That's another thing we got to do. But again, we're just going to deal with Europe first. Try and get this looking pretty. So we're going to go ahead and give Bulgaria and Italy those two provinces I've been trying to give them. Don't know how much we're going to be able to do. You can notice every turn we're getting less and less done. Uh, Romania, Bulgaria. Let's give them Albania. And then we're looking for Italy. Give them Corsica. And Ireland. We didn't finish Ireland yet. That's India. Ireland. There we go. Awesome. So that's done. Uh, let's go after Norway now. Let's go ahead and get them... Oops. Puppeted. Alright, so Norway is now puppeted. Is there anything else left in Europe to be done? I don't think so. I think we're, we're done in Europe. If I'm not mistaken. It does look that way. Uh, we still got to do Norway, but we got to wait, of course, before we'll be able to do that. All right, so that is done. So let's go ahead and deal with Asia now. Let's do let's do India first, since they're a little bit easier. Why can't I not give them Pakistan? It's only five points, man. All right, so we have, like, no points. I think we're going to have to wait a turn, because we're not getting much done per turn right now. All right, so Spain did take uh, more territory over in Africa. All right, so Spain's going to have... An absolute massive amount of territory in Africa. I don't know if we should have let the British keep all this, but I was kind of worried about uh, somebody else puppeting them if I didn't do it. So that's the reason why I puppeted them so early, and it did result in some situations around the world that I don't really like. Uh, but I, I do feel that if we hadn't puppeted them, somebody might, else might have. I don't know. Uh, Spain did seem kind of preoccupied with other stuff, uh, so maybe they wouldn't have. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, let's go and puppet these guys. I was going to pass... But again, I'm kind of worried about uh, other countries puppeting these guys. I'm going to go ahead and give New Zealand to Australia, probably. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, it's less puppets that we have to worry about. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, and I, and I, I do that a lot. Uh, so let's uh, do India now, finally. Because uh, I've been trying to do this for a little while. Should be able to get Pakistan at this point. Uh, and let's see if we can't get Burma. It looks like that is not a possibility because we don't have the points. All right. Uh, can we give them... Yeah, we can't give him that one. That's five points. I'm assuming that there's not anything else I'm going to be able to do with my points. I would like to give Britain this territory here, take it from Portugal, rather than Spain getting it, and it'll look a little bit nicer, I feel, if uh, the British got it. So let's see if we can't give it to him. We cannot. Uh, because it's worth... Oh, we don't have control of that. So, yeah, we're never going to be able to do it. All right. It is what it is. Uh, I want to say that's probably all we're going to be able to do. Let me see if I can't do something with Norway. See if we can find them. See if we can't give them some of their lands. Nope, we cannot. All right, uh, so essentially, we are done. Let's go ahead and end our turn. See what happened over here. Uh, just Spain taking more territory. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pass because we just can't really get anything done at this point. And, okay, uh, Manchuria to take more of China over. All right, awesome. They're getting their, their stuff done. Americans haven't had a chance yet. Uh, they haven't even gone, I don't think. I didn't see them anywhere. So they have not had a chance at this point. They did join kind of late. I don't feel like they even deserve a chance because uh, they did join so damn late. Uh, let's finish up India. And then we'll finish up Norway, I suppose. Yeah, because we won't be able to get this territory here because, well, for obvious reasons. Uh, although, this might be under our control. And we can give that to Britain. Hmm, let me take a look here. No, we cannot give any of this to, to Britain. I wonder why it's so much cheaper for... Hmm, that's interesting. Why Free India can get this this land cheap, but Britain cannot. Huh. All right, I can't really answer that. I have no idea why that is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this for India here. Uh, I'm probably going to let... I almost want to give this territory here to, to Russia. Uh, the Russia can have a bit more territory. And it's better than them getting it. Yeah, let's do that. 
Uh, Russia kind of helped in the war a little bit. Uh, let me see if I can find them here. I haven't seen their flag yet. They must be close to the... Yep, there they are. Yep, they're close to the bottom. That's why we haven't seen them yet. All right, so we're going to give all that to Russia. I don't really care who gets to bet. Yeah. I, I think we'll probably let China have it, Manchuria. They're going to have a lot of points to, to deal with. So we do have to do, deal with Japan still, and we got to do Norway. So let's go ahead and do Norway first. They should be a little bit easier. They have a lot less territory than Japan does. All right, so Norway is done. Fantastic. And I think that brings a complete wrap to Europe. Uh, yeah. No more territory left unless I'm missing something. But I don't think so. All right. That looks all right. Yeah, this doesn't look bad. I was kind of a little bit worried about it. Them kind of jutting in our territory looking, looking kind of ugly. But that's not too bad. I think it would have looked fine either way. Uh, when I'm talking about Albania, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and do... We got to do Australia. We got to do... Uh, Japan. Uh, so let's go ahead and do. I guess we'll do Australia first once again, just because they're a little bit quicker, or they should be anyway. And we will give them. Ah, uh, that's gonna be too expensive for them. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just puppet New Zealand. Yeah, I think we are gonna have to just puppet New Zealand because otherwise it's gonna be too expensive. And yeah, I'm not gonna wait that long just for trying to give that to Australia. Sure, any New Zealanders who may be watching wouldn't be too happy about that anyway. All right, so it looks like I did a bit too much, so we're going to have to pull some of that back. Can we get this one for him? We cannot. Okay, so let's see if there's anything we can do with Japan that's cheap. Probably not. It does seem that we are out of points, guys. Could do, like, some little five-pointer ones, and I guess we can try. I'm just kind of worried that they'll end up being, like, separated in some weird, odd way, which would not be desirable. But I want to use all my points, so... We'll give them control of the, a lot of these islands here. I'm still probably going to take some of this for myself. Yeah, I'm probably going to take some of those islands for myself. Uh, but we will give them these couple here. And we're going to take the rest. Whatever we have left. Oh, we might not have enough points to do anything. That's only nine. And we can't do it. Can we take this one? We can. Four points. Awesome. We'll take that then. And that's probably going to be all we're going to be doing. Uh, oh, yes, I want to take this one. Can we get that one if I don't take Marcus Island? Yes. All right, that's what we'll do then. All right, looking good. We already have territory there. We might return some territory to India. Maybe we won't. That little uh, colony we have there. All right, so that's good. Let's go and enter turn. Let's see what our allies do. America finally got a turn. Uh, so America has taken over a lot of Canada, that's from what I'm seeing. Yeah, taken some Canadian territory over as well as some Mexican territory over as well. So Americans finally got their turn to do something. And they did help a bit in the war. So uh, towards the end there, they helped knock out some countries that didn't need to be knocked out. So let's do Australia again. Although, let's first take, off the, take out the islands that I wanted for myself. Uh, Germany first, guys. All right, so we're going to take over all these islands that I'm taking from the Japanese. We're going to be a colonial power, guys. All right, so I want to say that's all the islands that we can get. Yes. All right, so now it's time for Australia. See, we could take these, these over. We just can't give them to Britain. For whatever reason, we can't give territory to anybody who fought against us. Yeah, that's the way it seems. Okay, so I can take it, or one of my puppets or one of my allies can take it for cheap, but we cannot take it for an ally. That's interesting. Hmm. Then we could also just give this to Italy then in that case, because they were not an ally. Uh, give them over. Give them Ethiopia since they've always wanted it so bad. If I can find them. Yeah, let's give Italy this territory then. If I, yeah, that's the best way to do it then. We'll give them over uh, a little bit of East Africa there. And I suppose that's it. Libya's already, we've already lost it, so uh, Spain can have it. Oh, the Italians get a little bit of territory here. <laughs> that's all they get. And I guess we need to work on Australia now. So let's go and tick back up to the top here. These peace treaties always take a long time, guys. Uh, that's just the way it is. Let's go ahead and give as much as we can. Looks like I'm um, not going to be able to do much. A lot of these are pretty cheap, though. 
so we'll give them get these knocked out. All right. Um, I wonder if New Zealand can get that. I don't think so. I don't think we have enough points for it. Let's see if uh, there's anything Japan can get. Probably not. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with Japan. Do we want to go ahead and puppet Korea? It would be really expensive to give it to Japan, so I'm fine with Maturia getting it, though, if they want to use their points for it. We'll see what happens there for uh, Korea. Let's go ahead and turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, so uh, the Spanish taking more territory in uh, Africa. Uh, getting the last Libyan territories and such. And let's go ahead and continue with Australia. Give them the rest here. I don't know how much we'll be able to do. Seems like we are running pretty low on points. All right. I've been using the mouse to move around, playing with one hand. Would have been a whole lot quicker if I was using both hands. I hate that this ended up happening this way. It still looks looks odd. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's continue. I think Japan's it, right? I mean, Africa's still in the equation. Uh, there's more territory here, but I'm going to let the Americans take it if they want. Uh, if uh, our allies haven't finished taking territory I think they should get, then we'll, we'll help them out uh, at the end. Let's do Japan first, though. Uh, let's try and get this territory for them connect all their territories and stuff uh, so let's get whatever we can get them 33 no we can't all right so japan's done for right now and again i think we we've done all the islands uh, that there is to do i mean there's the little bit of territory here uh, in the caribbean i don't really feel like i i mean i guess we could take a have something here to uh have a presence in the the caribbean if we wanted but I feel like that's enough of a presence in the Americas, honestly. Yeah, I should have took this from the British. Uh, but once again, I didn't. So we missed it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. All right, so uh, that's it for this turn. Let's go ahead and end it. We might need to pass a turn. All right, yeah, let's just pass. All right, Manchuria did some stuff. So that we can uh, finally get Japan dealt with. Get all this for them. All right, awesome. Uh, so that's done. Uh, I think we're done with, yeah, I think we're done with everything I wanted to do for me and my puppets. And now we'd just be like helping allies out, uh, like helping the Americans gain land, because uh, I'd like them to get all this, uh, as well as, I mean, there's not really anything I wanted to do in Africa, because I wanted to give this to the British, but we're not gonna have the points for it. It's just going to be too expensive. Well, let me take that back. Now we can give it to them. Interesting. Not entirely sure why we can do that now. And it's still pretty expensive overall. Uh, it's not cheap. But yeah, we'll go ahead and give them a bit more land. I, I, I don't think they would want to get that now because it's separated from them. It might be... Yeah, that might be enough uh, to keep them from wanting to try and take that over. I am a little bit salty that I let the British keep so much land. I should have took some more of that from them. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. They're our puppet now, so they will do as they are told. Uh, let's go ahead and have... Uh, help the Americans out. Uh, gain a bit of territory. Uh, like some of these little spots here that would look really ugly if somebody else ga uh, grabbed up. And just get them a, whatever we can. Yeah, that's going to be a bit too much. Can't get them that 44 points there. How about the 42 there? Yeah, we can. Excellent. Uh, and let's grab them that one then as well. And they'll just have to get this little patch later. Can we get anything for them here? And nope, that's. I think that's going to be it, guys. Yeah, that's going to be it for the Americans. So let's end our turn. See what our allies do. Okay, Spain just got a little bit of, a little bit of a chance to do something. Uh, weren't able to do much. Let's go and take a look at the British and see if we can't get them this land here now. Not going to be able to do much. This one's 661 points. Good God. All right, but I do want to get them these ones. So let's go ahead and do them. Uh, we'll just do them one at a time or whatever. Actually, you know what? Let's pass. We really can't do much. So let me see. All right, so Spain's doing... They don't really have a lot of points either at this point. All right, I do want to get them some of this territory if we can. The British. Just to make it look nicer. And yeah, it's just so expensive. Good God. All right, let's go ahead and work on the Americans some more. Get them some more territory. All right, nice. I was able to do all those. I was thinking I wouldn't be able to. I was thinking I didn't have the points. All right, well, we did exhaust ourselves because can't even get that 14.1. Let's go ahead and turn. And the Americans did take more. All right, so they got a little bit more turn. Uh, they took some more territory with their, their points. All right, awesome. 
So let's see, uh, what do we want to do next? So there's Korea that still needs to be dealt with. They've got Manchuria, just doesn't have the points to get all of a China. Uh, it's taken them a while uh, to get it. Let's see if we can't take that, because I think it'd look good map-wise. I'd like to get all this taken over, actually. Uh, let's take that one over, and then see what else there's left to do with their points. We can help the Americans out. Uh, we could puppet Korea. Yeah, I figure we might as well puppet Korea then, in this particular case. Uh, we do need to get ourselves selected. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Yeah, we can do it. Uh, nope, we don't have the points. <laughs> All right. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and... We could grab this little blotch of land there if we wanted to. I think I'm fine with Manchuria getting it all, though. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, see if there's anything we can do with the Americans to kind of help them out because it's taking them forever to get this done. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to give... The, yeah, we can't do anything. Let's go enter turn. See what they did. All right, let's go ahead and pass again. Nothing was done. We should have enough points to finally get some stuff done over here in Africa. Although it does look like a lot of this was taken over by Spain, they're going to be separated right here by just the little batch there. Uh, so let's see if we can't get... Yeah, we can't get any of this for them. This is just going to be too damn expensive. So I'll let Spain have it with their points. I think this is the last thing they're going to want to do with them. And that's kind of the way that Africa is going to look, uh, it seems. Uh, so we can go ahead and puppet Korea, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll puppet all Korea, and what is left? What's left to do? I guess we can help the Americans out over here. I'm not thinking of anything else that needs to be done. You can give them Cuba. And you know what? I'm going to give them this territory here as well. I can't think of anybody else who would rather have, have it. You know what? I'm going to give that to the British if I can. Uh, though it might be stupidly expensive. Yes, it will be stupidly expensive. Let's give it to the Americans instead then. We should have gave Spain, uh, Spain Cuba, actually. You know what? What am I doing, man? I'm fucking up here. <laughs> Let's give all this to Spain. <laughs> yeah, Spain gets Cuba again. And we'll give them these islands, too. We should have given them more territory uh, over here. The Spanish Empire would be reborn. Although it looks like they're more focused on Africa now than the Americas. Okay. Uh, I think we're done in, in Asia for the most part. We're letting these guys... You know what? Connecting this territory here would be nice. So we don't just have that little enclave there. Uh, we'll have this uh territory as well yeah i like that we can also go ahead and nope hong kong's in british hands we can grab that one up though uh so we will it's only six points all right what is left to be done i want to say just about everything has been completed guys maybe mistaken here but i want to say just about everything is done i'm not seeing anything yeah I want to say we've we've completed just about everything at this point. All right, let's go ahead and enter turn and then see. Cause I'm not seeing anything left point wise to take, except for South Africa, of course, which you can't do. I'd love to give it to the British, but yeah, it's not a possibility. All right, and the Spanish are taking it over any damn way. All right, so they've taken another one. Uh, let's go ahead and pass, and I'm just going to let them have have the rest of it. And I d I would like to see what's all left here actually. Uh, so Portuguese still have territory somewhere. Hmm. Probably some islands over here. Yes, sir. All right. Germany wants it. Germany wants it. All right. So we have an island in the Atlantic now. What's left? Let's take a look here. I think we just took all the states. Yeah, just the Azores. Uh, so still have the Chinese territory, uh, which I'll probably just let China have. And again, I feel like, although that would look kind of odd this way, Maybe we should just puppet Tibet, or we could give it to India, though. They would have those two little patches there. You know what? Let's give India Tibet, if they can. It might be kind of expensive. We'll see. Yeah, we could do it. All right, so we'll give India Tibet. And what else can we do here? I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. We can help Manchuria take this territory over, since it's otherwise going to take them forever. So, yeah, we'll do that then. Make sure they get this done. Just help them out here. And then hopefully that's it. That's all that's left. Alright, so we took all that territory for them. Don't think I missed any. Oh, yes. Little, little patch here. Alright. So that might be it. Let's go and enter turn. And... 
This has not been taken for Spain yet, so we're going to want to do that for them. Because I think that's it. That's all that's left. Yep. So let's go and get Spain. Give them that patch of territory. End of turn. And we are done. That is the peace conference. All right, so the world looks quite different. All right, so that's the way the world looks, guys. And sure is, this is terrible. <laughs> because they have all this territory they took from Russia. And then they're all down here in China. So very odd situation here. It looks absolutely terrible. But of course, you couldn't really do anything about that because the Mongolian Empire was, of course, you know, all of these, these countries here were already in the Axis. So really couldn't do anything there. So this is what Europe looks like. Uh, you know, uh, the British are alive and well now uh, under our control. I wish I'd given, like I said, I kind of feel like I, I jumped on the uh, puppet in them a little bit too quick. We should have. It wouldn't have affected points. I could have done it all in the same turn. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have gave, but I couldn't have given this to Ireland. That wasn't really an option. Uh, though, I could have took it for myself and then gave it to Ireland. Uh, so I could have done that. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer that I can't do that now. Uh, so I should have did that. Uh, I should have taken this from the British and gave it to ourselves. I uh, probably should have took some of their colonies here and gave it to somebody else. Maybe Spain or, or America or something. Should have given up some of their American colonies. Uh, should have did that. Should have fixed the situation here in Africa a bit more. Should have done something with Africa other than just give it all to the British. Uh, so kind of regret that. Could have gave this to India as well. All this territory to free India. Uh, that was another option. Uh, Siam didn't get anything, guys, because Siam didn't do anything. Siam joined at the last minute, so that's why they didn't get nothing. Uh, and I think that's the main regrets I have overall. Uh, this should have went to America, I feel. Yeah, we should have gave that to the Americans. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty damn powerful, guys. Look at this. is All the green is Germany. And the Axis control just about everything outside of South America and parts of the Middle East uh, are not in Axis hands. Of course, Sweden and Finland also. Uh, we were slowly ticking them up to fascism, but hadn't got there quite yet. Eventually, we would have, though. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the world, guys. Um, just looking at the faction map. And yeah, you can see here, it's mostly on our side. So... I think it was a fun campaign. Had a blast. Uh, it was uh, enjoyable uh, trying to invade the, the British Empire because that was quite a challenge. I, I feel like whenever Britain ends up being the last country that we have to defeat, that it ends up being kind of anticlimactic because they're typically kind of easy. Uh, I think in that American camp campaign, we had a bit of difficulty invading Britain because they still had their, you know, the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy uh, much more so than they did in this campaign. But I think once we landed, they were like really, really easy because they didn't have that many divisions. I may be recalling incorrectly, but I want to say, uh, yeah, once we landed, it was pretty easy. So I was happy that we got a little bit of a challenge here. We did have a whole episode that we couldn't couldn't invade, couldn't couldn't get a port. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, but overall, it was a uh, very fun campaign. Enjoyed it quite a bit. Hope you guys did as well. Oh, I remember Russia being. We had that difficulty when we were, we ran over Russia, and then yeah, we had that difficulty there for a few episodes, one or two episodes where they were being problematic. We actually got pushed back a little bit, uh, but eventually got them defeated. That was fun as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, Italy and France defeated them. And there, I think that, yeah, they were never in the... Or France ended up joining the Allies, of course, a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, just... Uh, it was interesting. Things happened a little bit different than I expected. The Americans, good God, they still are just loyalists. That was just uh, irritating. They need to be fixed. The fascist AI needs to be fixed. It clearly isn't working properly. So that's... That was kind of frustrating. Spain was a surprise. Good God, they uh, yeah, they were the AI MVP. Uh, they did uh, very, they were very very helpful. Now here in Africa, they got a lot of assistance from from Romania, so we should recognize that. Uh, the Romania assisted them quite a bit. Uh, Italy didn't. A lot of people thought they did because the Italians owned so much territory. But remember, all the Italian divisions were going to us, uh, so they actually weren't assisting here in Africa. Uh, that was the Romanians that were were doing it. I think the Russians might have had some troops down there as well, though they might have given us troops too, so maybe it wasn't the Russians. I saw somebody else there. Maybe Bulgaria? I'm not entirely sure who it was. Uh, but I know Romania and Spain did the most of the work here in Africa. Uh, you know, Manchuria was, you know, conquering a lot of different, they added a lot of territory to, to our empire here with, you know, Korea, uh, invading Korea, invading Tibet. Uh, so, yeah, they were quite helpful overall. Uh, but yeah, it was a, a fun campaign. It's a fantastic place to end it. I'm not going to do a world conquest. I don't do world conquests. Uh, I just find them tedious and boring. Uh, there's not really any point. Like, we know we've won. Uh, we're not going to get any challenge from fighting uh, Sweden and Finland when we have this many divisions. They, we're just going to sweep through their lands. Here in America, uh, South America, it's mainly just a pain in the butt because you got to go through this very high attrition territory here uh, where it's 
you know, just really rough and slow. Uh, it's not difficult. It's just it's just tedious. Uh, and then, of course, to get claims, you've got to wait. You can only do them one or two at a time. Uh, I did it with the Soviet campaign where we tried to make that where we do that doing the entire world communist. And uh, it was so tedious, man. And by the last like three, four, and it was like, man, it was like four or five episodes. We were just conquering little tiny countries. And it was not fun. It was I was getting I was getting annoyed by it by the end. Uh, people stopped watching. Everybody says they want me to do a world conquest, and then I do it, and then nobody watches it. So then I'm just dealing with the tedium by myself with like a you know a few people that actually watch. Uh, so that's why I don't do it. Uh, I know a lot of people are asking me to do one throughout the series, but yeah, it's just uh, it's it's not fun. Uh, and it's, there's no point to it. We already know we won. We can already say that the world is ours because we already know that it is. Uh, it would be if we keep playing. Uh, so, so yeah, that's a fantastic place to end it. Uh, so I, I said that here on this finale episode that I would talk about what we're doing next. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in the next few minutes here. Uh, so I'm going to have another uh, Patreon vote uh, for the next series. Uh, it is going to be with Vanilla. The Vanilla series get like way more views than the modded series. Uh, I've, I've only had like maybe one modded series actually do well. Uh, typically mods do really, really shitty on my channel, uh, which is why I don't play them as often. However, I am going to do a modded series because I know a lot of people like them. They like the difference. Uh, we've uh, This would be... This here is like the third Vanilla campaign in a row, I think. Yeah, we did America... The Dutch and then Germany here so yeah this would be the third vanilla campaign in a row so we're gonna do one more and then after that I'll do a modded one because I know that a lot of subscribers enjoy those even if they don't really pull any views in from the search engine and they don't really get very many views overall at all I think the last series which just to give you reference most of my vanilla campaigns uh, the episode ones get at least 50,000 views uh, eventually uh, you know this one has like 20 something thousand uh, you look at it six months from now it'll probably be at around well, close to 50. Uh, so they get around 50,000 views the first episode, at least. Some of them get more than that, you know, 80,000, 100 something thousand, whatever. Uh, but at least 50,000. My modded series, other than the one that did well, they typically get less than 20,000 uh, in the long run after being out for years and years. They, they get less than 20,000. The last modded series I did has, right now, and this was from last January, has 3,000 something views on episode one. So it's it's a massive difference, guys. So that's the reason why I don't don't play the modded series as much because nobody watches them. I don't get any views from the search engine because you know, the larger Hearts of Iron 4 community uh, don't play mods, a uh, very few f fraction of people. Uh, if you look at, Paradox has posted these numbers before for Hearts of Iron as well as for EU4. And I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen one for CK2, uh, but for EU4 and Hearts of Iron, they have posted the numbers. And the majority of players do not play with overhaul mods. Uh, if they do play with a mod, they play with one of the small ones, like the colored buttons or something like that. Uh, but the majority do not play at mods, and those that do, do not play with overhaul mods. So it's a very small minority that is looking these videos up, so that's the reason why they don't do very well. Uh, so I did want to explain that, because almost all the comments asking for a new series has been for, for a mod. Uh, so I wanted to explain why I don't play those as often. However, we'll do that with the next series. This series that's coming up, uh, there's going to be a patron vote for it, and it'll... Uh, some of the options I'm looking at. I suppose I'll go over that. Uh, we had the United Kingdom for the last option, a fascist UK playthrough. Uh, I don't want to do the, the monarchy route, the you know authoritarian or uh, absolute monarchy, whatever you want to call it, uh, route that the British have because everybody, when, when Man the Guns came out, all the YouTubers played that. So there's like a lot of series. Almost every big YouTube channel has done that already. Uh, it was one of the more popular ones, that and Fascist America were the two big ones for Man the Guns that almost everybody did. So I don't want to do it because so many people did it already. Uh, so I think we'd probably do the fascist run because it looks interesting. I think it looks pretty interesting the way the uh, their national focus tree uh, is set up and then the little decisions you get. I'd like to try it out. So I had that on the vote for the last patron vote. It didn't get any selections. Nobody selected it. Nobody voted for it. Uh, the votes were all for the Dutch and the, the German one. So that will probably be on there again. I, I don't know if it'll get any votes this time. Uh, other options is I'm considering uh, doing another Dutch playthrough because I'm still salty about the loss there. And this would be a more traditional Dutch playthrough where the British actually r remained in the Allies rather than us having to fight the British and the Germans uh, with no assistance pretty much uh, because the French never joined the war and the Russians, they got knocked out really quick. Uh, so it was pretty much the little old Dutch and the little uh, collection of European Union minor countries that we had uh, all against Germany and Britain pretty much all alone and America didn't really help much. 
they mostly just lost millions of troops in the seas. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I was still salty about it because I think I think we could have won, man, if it, if, the, if it wasn't for the British. I think we could have beat Germany uh, because yeah, we killed so many Germans. But like, I don't know how many, uh, but millions, three, four, five million uh, Germans that we killed alone. Probably exaggerating those numbers, but it was a lot. It was millions. Uh, so yeah, I think we could have won then if it wasn't for the damn British, uh, you know, joining the the Germans. So I'm still salty about that. So that's a possibility. I don't know if the patrons vote for it since we just did a Dutch series. Maybe it'd be something we do a little bit later uh, from now. Maybe that'd be better if I waited a while since it was so recent. Uh, so the British, the Dutch, uh, maybe the Dutch, I should say. I don't know if I'm going to make that uh, in there or not. Uh, a Chinese uh, faction. Um, I'm thinking we could do Republic of China. I've already done that, but I've never done it with the vanilla focus tree. We used a mod that time for the focus tree. So I haven't done it with their focus tree. So we could do the Republic of China. I could also do the People's Republic of China. Communist China, I think is what the game calls it now. So yeah, I could do the People's Republic of China. I think that that would be uh, really interesting. Uh, they have some nice mechanics. Um, they're, you know, obviously they're pretty small uh, from the beginning. So might be funner than the People's Republic. I don't know. Uh, they both have pretty good focus trees. So it's, it's going to be based on, on the patron. I don't know if I want to have both of those be an option. Let me know down, down in the comments what you'd rather see if it came down to China. What would you rather see the, the patrons have an option between People's Republic of China or uh, Republic of China? Or I guess we just call them China. Uh, so which one would you rather see out of those two? And that's the one I'll put on the patron vote because I don't really want to put both of them. Uh, we, we have too many options. I mean, we only have 20-something patrons. So you get too many options and you split the vote and then, yeah, it ends up... Uh, not uh, not going well. And then you have like a lot of people who wanted to see a Chinese campaign and their, their vote split. So it doesn't win because of that. Uh, that could end up happening. So yeah, we'll just have uh, one of them on there. So let me, down that, let me know down in the comments below which one you'd rather see. Uh, so that's an option. Uh, and then the last one that I'm thinking about doing for this next series would be Mexico. Now it is still pretty recent though since the last American campaign. So... I mean, that was not that long ago. So I don't know if everybody wants to see another North America campaign. Uh, and that would largely be us. I, I don't know if we'd play... I don't know which uh, direction we'd go. I know I wouldn't be democratic, though. Uh, we'd probably go communist or fascist, I would assume. Uh, so let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see with Mexico. Whether you'd rather see a communist or a fascist one. But it would re basically be us like uh, conquering territory. I think if you're communist, I think you might you might be freeing them. Uh, in that particular case, I don't really know how the tree works in that regard. While fascist, the fascist one I know does attempt to conquer all the, the territory. Uh, so Mexico is the other option I'm thinking of. Again, though, I'm not sure if it's far enough away from when we did the American one, since it's, you know, they're both in North America. Uh, so that's one. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I'm considering for this next series, I believe. Uh, there's a lot of other options uh, available to us. You could do like a Romanian one for instance, uh, is another possibility. Uh, I don't know. I'll ask the patrons and talk to them and see exactly if they wanted to add any. Uh, so that's going to be on the patron vote. Uh, and, and remember, uh, then we changed this a long time ago, that all patrons can can vote, even the, the dollar a month patrons. So when that series will be starting, I can't say. Uh, it's not going to be this weekend because... Uh, I have one, I have one new game that I, I'm going to be covering. I don't know if it's going to be a full series. It depends on the views because I, I don't really know how well it's going to do, if there's going to be much of an audience for it. It's a strategy game though. Uh, so that's going to be a new series. And at the very least, I wanted to do a few videos of that uh, to show it to you guys, uh, to show the game because it's interesting. Uh, I won't say nothing on it yet, uh, but because uh, I'm still kind of learning it myself, I I'm, I'm just started a campaign. And so I wanted to do that. And like I said, that will probably be a short series unless the views are there, uh, in which case it would be a longer series. And then I wanted to wrap up the CK2 campaign. Uh, so we are pretty close to where I wanted to get on that one, kind of feeling like it's about time. The views have dropped a bit as well. It's, we're 22 episodes in. Uh, but there's a few things that we need to do before we can finish it. And then we got to leave on a high note as well. Can't just leave where, where we're at. Uh, so I'm going to do at least one to two more videos. Uh, it depends on how long it takes for me to get where I want to get uh, for our little high note of a finale. Uh, with my plan, what I want to do on that one. So I want to finish that up as well. Uh, so between the CK2 and the new series, uh, those will probably be what I'm doing for the next few days. And then the that gives the patrons time to vote as well. I want to give them plenty of time to, to vote. I feel like last time I didn't give enough time for that Dutch vote when we had it. Uh, I feel like I didn't give enough time for the patrons. 
So, uh, yeah, I think it was only two days. Uh, so I want to give a little bit more time to be able to vote on that one. Uh, so that'll give plenty of time for them to vote, and we'll have, you know, content on the channel, strategy content on the channel. So that's the plan, guys. Uh, after that vanilla series is over, whoever ends up, whatever country ends up winning, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll do the modded series. And uh, which mods we use will be based on the patrons. I'll probably have that. Um, that's going to be a patron vote as well, and that'll be... Uh, they'll be voting on the particular mod. I don't know if I have a second vote for which country. I think I'll probably just do the mod and then I'll, I'll base the country on like which one hasn't been played very often or something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a little bit of uh, uh, take a little bit of feedback from the patrons as well on which country they'd like to see on that one. Uh, but yeah, that'll be the mod of the series. Uh, there's been a lot of mods proposed. Some people want to see another Kaiser Wright campaign. Uh, the Fallout mod. It's called like Old World, Old World Blues or whatever. That's been one that's been suggested quite a bit as well. Uh, there's a couple other ones too that I got on a list that uh, I haven't played yet uh, that people have been mentioning uh, to me for a little while now. So those will likely be on there as well, or at least a couple of those. Maybe like five mods will be on the patron vote, and that'll be the next series. And uh, hopefully that that one uh, ends up being something that you guys want to watch uh, because I do have to rely on for the, the modded series. I do have to rely on subscribers for that one uh, because uh, we don't really get much from the search engine. So uh, so yeah, that's gonna be. It's going to be the end of the campaign, guys. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, this will probably be the last German campaign we do for a very long time. This is the third German campaign. Uh, the first one was a, uh, a Nazi one as well. Uh, and that was one of the first series I did. I think it was the second campaign I did on the channel. Uh, the first one was a French one. So it's a very, very old campaign. Uh, it was in 2016, like fall 2016 or something like that. And uh, then we did the German campaign last summer, which was the Return of the Kaiser campaign, where we went with the, obviously, we returned the Kaiser, uh, went with the non-aligned route. That was fun as well. I uh, had that Civil War and stuff. It was, it was an interesting campaign. That was last summer, uh, so it wasn't with the Man the Guns expansion, unfortunately. And then we had this one. Uh, so that's three German campaigns. Uh, no country I played that much with the exception of France, but France, uh, I think two of those were done in a mod. I've only played vanilla France one time. This is the most times I've, easily the most times I've ever played with a country in vanilla three times. No country comes close. So I don't expect that we're gonna be playing Germany anytime again, uh, you know, or again, anytime soon outside of in a mod. Uh, so uh, that's that's it for Germany, guys. I, I would assume that I'd probably never play with them again in Hoi 4 uh, for a series uh, because I feel like we've, we've done it. Uh, it's it's done. Unless I'm still playing Hearts of Iron 4 two, three years from now. Uh, don't expect another vanilla German campaign. Uh, and maybe Hoi 5 might be out by then. I don't know. Probably not, though. I assume it's it's got a lot more development left to go. But anyway, I've talked for long enough, guys. Uh, that is the end of the campaign. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, again, I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on, on you know, China, uh, which one of the China uh, countries you want to see. I want to say there's another one I asked about as well, Mexico. Uh, which route you'd want us to go is Mexico. And I thought there was another one, but now I can't remember what it is. Uh, Mexico, Dutch, J British. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, but anyways, uh, so let me know what, what uh, route you guys would like to see on that, so the patrons, uh, so we we don't split the vote uh, on those. And I can say specifically, like, oh, it's going to be a, a communist Mexico, or it's going to be a fascist Mexico, or whatever. So let me know down in the comments below. Uh, for the patrons, uh, the uh, vote would be up in a, in a couple days, I assume. Maybe on Sunday I'll put it up, Sunday or Monday, uh, we'll put the, put the vote up. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it before I go to work on Sunday. I'd prefer Sunday, uh, but... I don't know. We'll see if I can get it up. I gotta go, go to work that day in the morning, and I work all day, obviously. Uh, so, so we'll see when we get that up. Uh, so make sure you go and vote if you are a patron. If you'd like to join our Patreon, uh, then look down in the description of any of our videos. Uh, there are links to the, the Patreon so you can support the channel, and you can do votes uh, for Hearts of Iron 4 series and other series we do. Uh, and then there's also our PayPal if you'd like to support the channel in a more temporary fashion. I do really appreciate any support you guys do give to the channel, though. It's it's helped a lot, guys. Uh, our revenue has gone up by quite a bit over the summer. I hope it carries on because, you know, as you guys know, I'm having some... My, my hours and my work are getting cut here at the end of July. So we're trying to save up some money. So all that support you guys have been giving recently is incredibly helpful. Getting ourselves a little savings account going. And it's definitely looking like, I mean, if it stayed where it's at, I don't want to say that it will, but if it stayed where it's at, it's not impossible that uh, I could just continue just working the part-time 20-something hours that I'll be working 
starting July. God, I don't know the date of that. It's, it's towards the end of July, but whenever that starts, uh, I could just be working the 20-something hours and then be focusing more on YouTube, I mean, if, if the income stayed where it's at. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for other uh, links, such as our uh, social media, Twitter, Facebook, all that's in the description as well, as well as our, our uh, Discord channel. So if you'd like to join our community there, uh, there's a link in the description of the video. Uh, and then if you're looking for something to watch uh, while you're waiting for the next Hearts of Iron 4 series to start, which, like I said, is going to be a little while because we got those, it's going to be at least, uh, I don't know, a week maybe? So yeah, just guessing. It should be a week. Uh, shouldn't be any longer than that anyways. And that gives the patrons plenty of time to vote. So if you're looking for something to watch in between now and then, Hearts of Iron 4 related, uh, we do have, you know, I don't know, 20-something uh, Hoi 4 campaigns on the channel, uh, including, I think, three, uh, two full ones and one shorter one. Uh, that are in the Man the Guns expansion. Uh, and that's the American, the Dutch, and then that short Japanese one that we did. Uh, so if you haven't watched one of those, maybe check those out. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be the end of this one. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And I also hope to see you on that next Hearts of Iron 4 series.